Journalists remain essential in disseminating information to the public despite the dangers related to exposure to coronavirus pandemic. Journalists, however, always find a way of getting their stories. Whereas social distancing has been overemphasized, it is inevitable for journalists to move in whatever form which puts them into harm's way. In this video, army officers are seen emphasizing and tasking ministers, journalists, to adhere to the social distancing rule, but in vain. As the office of the Prime Minister prepared to flag off food to be distributed to those affected by measures against coronavirus infection, many officials turned up with masks, though others did not have. Security Minister Jeno Tumwine is seen sending for masks that were later given to government officials as a sign of being exemplary. The Minister for Health remained cognizant of the fact that the rule was being violated by the 4th Estate. The charge would only get worse when a speech is being given. And lead by example of making sure that we respect social distance, which is being violated by quite a number of... Uh, <laughs> that's why we should really... Talking to sources is now becoming hard day by day under the name of social distancing, and this might challenge the process of sharing information. This remains a matter that should be addressed effectively. Coming near me with your microphones. To ensure journalists continue doing their work without putting their lives at risk. You need, you need to get a leader who can space you up, okay? And have your masks on. Because you're not maintaining four meters. And since you can't, if you can maintain one meter, have your masks on. We should make sure that all of them, if those who employ them, or even us that organize events like this, I should have expected that all of them have given protective gears in terms of masks and, and also sanitizers so that everybody has it in their hands. Because the equipments you keep touching here and there, you require your personal one, not the one as you enter into the office. So that as a journalist, also, I've seen a number of them even don't have what differentiates them in terms of uh, uh, the jacket that show you come from this media house, that show in terms of this. But we should make sure that we also give them, in, in terms of supportive mechanism, so that they are protected. Because sometimes it's very difficult. You want to get a story, all of them want to get it. It's very difficult for them to even keep this social distance. But when we give them the protective gears, the masks, and their own in terms of sanitizing, and then organize special transport in terms of arrangement. The more press conferences, the more journalists they attract. And this matter remains a tricky one in Uganda since the pandemic was declared by the World Health Organization. Ivan Kahua, UBC News.